And I feel like, again, you know, fatherhood. We wanted to talk about that, too. I did. Fatherhood is so important. Having your father. Who do you learn to be a man from? What do you, who do you, where do you learn masculinity from in its proper perspective? Where do you learn how to be a man from in its proper perspective? Is your father. This is someone that has gone before you and have, has gone down this journey to learn things, being a man that he's supposed to reach back and teach you. And a lot of us suffer with that. And guess what? How do you even learn how to deal with women? You learn from your father. You learn from watching wanted, models in the I household. Want, like, when I hit you up, I want to have a, a man conversation about a man's feelings and how we talk about uh, women having postpartum depression. Right. What about men who are separated from their children? Separation anxiety when you miss your kids. You know what's going to happen if my kids are gone for uh, more than a week and I tell my ex-wife, hey, I miss my kids? She'll be like, you'll see them next weekend. Yeah. That's the compassion. <laughs> huh? Yeah. This, the summer's about to be over. My kids going back to school, going back with their mama, right? And I'm like, I miss my kids. You'll see them next summer. Like, that's the level of compassion. So when I want to talk about my feelings, I understand. Look in the mirror. Hey, don't nobody give a fuck about my feelings. And that's what it's like being a man. It really is. It feels that way. It, and, and the reason why I say it feels that way is because it doesn't have to be that way now in the modern society, now that we can actually talk amongst men and have groups like this. Because some of you men out there feel lonely. Some of you men out there feel depressed. And a lot of what we're talking about, you never heard another man talk about it. And you need something relatable to change your spirit and your soul, man, right? Crazy ass numbers, like 60% of men from the ages of 18 to 32 are single. The exact, that's crazy. The exact same uh, sec, sub section of women from 18 to 32 they say 30% is single. So what are they doing? They smashing each other. They smashing older men. And they smashing the same man. Another thing, too, is, man, suicide rates amongst men. 30,000 a year. It's high. 30,000 a year. It's high. We're not talking. We're not talking to nobody. We're not even expressing ourselves on how we feel, even about what we just talked about. Because I've battled that, too. I love being with my children all the time. It's and having to have an peace, alternate custody is is is. It's miserable. It's a miserable thing. It does hurt. And who do you talk to when you have these issues? Who who are you supposed to reach out to um, when you're feeling sad, depressed, and you feel like you can't go on, but the I, bills I, I has got to get paid? I have a network of men. <laughs> I call my brothers, right. and we have this conversation. Right. My brother's divorced. My brother's divorced. We understand what this shit feels like. Uh, my uncle passed, and he was like, hey, just, just don't take no steps back. Because as soon as you give up ground, the bitch thinks she won, and you ain't win shit, man. You, you're you're using the fact that I cannot use my physicality and using that shit against me. And you're laughing at me because you know that you're in a position of power. Can I say something, What's though? What's up? I think that this is why I say it always comes back to you as a man. I'm going to talk some Navy shit right now. You're right. You know, as a leader in the Navy, and I, I, talk, to, I, I talk to my wife a lot about this, too, like when we're bringing up examples. But like a, a leader in the Navy, even if you were not there to actually do the thing that is deemed incorrect. But if you're like, if you're in charge, it is your responsibility because you set the standard. You're right. You're supposed to set up the parameters of how things are done correctly.